Hey folks, so the last time I took a break this long, it was to introduce two new teams. Uh, this time, I'm retiring another team. Uh, that's not why I took the break. Uh, there are many reasons that I don't have to bore you with, but anyway, this is the last battle with my OU doubles team. I'm not uh, poker shifting it up to Gen 5, um, although I might remake a Trick Room team for Gen 5. It's not going to be this team. Um, but anyway, uh, I just figured it was time. Uh, uh, my opponent today is a hardcore uber abuser, except for that Milotic. All of those are top tier ubers, and um, this is not... I see that and I'm like, oh gee, this is going to be awful. But this team was designed to combat uber noobs. I mean, it really was. It was... Uh, I, it was created as a direct response to me getting my ass kicked by a bunch of uber-using assholes. Uh, pardon my language. Anyway, so the battle begins, and I'm going to go ahead and try to set up my trick room. It's a different lead than I usually use. It's a combo of my leads, so it's Dust Noir and Empoleon, um, because Dust Noir, I think, would have I figured would have been more resilient to um, first turn attacks and more able to set up a trick room, and Empoleon's got the Blizzard, which is his entire team's weak too, basically. Anyway, Ho uses Sacred Fire, which is a whole lot to Dusk Noir, um, and gets the Burn Hacks, which I'm like, jeez, come on, seriously? And then his Rayquaza outrages me, he knows the Trick Room's coming, and unfortunately he's able to kill me. And so that is absolutely awful for me. Um, my Dusk Noir goes down on the first turn, and uh, I'm not going to be able to get a Trick Room up. I mean, I figure this battle's basically lost right now. Uh, and that would be really, really sad. Um, anyway, my Blizzard hits both of his Pokémon, uh, activates the Focus Sash on his uh, Rayquaza, which is unfortunate, so I go ahead and send out Dragonite um, to extreme speed Rayquaza just to take it out before it can get off another Outrage. I could have also done Aqua Jet there, um, but I figured this was the better move, because now I can Hydro Pump his Ho-Oh. So uh, Dragonite goes ahead and extreme speeds, for the KO, kind of overkill, and it kind of sucks considering I have to take Life Orb Recoil with my Dragonite. Um, but that does take out his Rayquaza, so awesome, awesome stuff, awesome sauce. Oh uh, yeah, Life Orb Recoil, as I said. So here comes another Sacred Fire. Hits pretty darn hard, uh, and I'm worried about getting the burn hacks, and indeed I do get burned, uh, which means that no final turn um, Aqua Jet for me, at least if I expect to do any amount of damage. Um, so anyway, I do manage to take down his uh, Ho-Oh with a Hydro Pump. I'm really glad that none of those attacks missed. And um, Empoleon is doing a great job this battle, um, but it's not going to last too much longer. So anyway, now he sends out his last two Pokémon. First off is Dialga, and the last off is Darkrai. I'm like, oh no, he had to bring his Darkrai. Why did he have to bring his Darkrai? Was that really necessary? So his Darkrai uses Dark Void, predictable. But what's amazing is that it misses both of my Pokemon, and then his Dialga's Stone Edge misses. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Hacks Gods. Thank you. Um, so anyway, I do go ahead and use Earthquake, even though it's going to KO uh, my Empoleon. Um, it, my Empoleon was basically useless at this point, and my final Pokemon on this team is Metagross, and I didn't want Metagross getting the Earthquake to the face. Um, so it's had to sacrifice uh, Empoleon, but I did do a decent amount of damage to his two pokes. So last up for me is Metagross, and I'm going to go ahead and extreme speed that Darkrai in the hopes of KOing it before it dark voids me, but unfortunately it's not quite enough. Had I done Bullet Punch um, with my Metagross, it probably would have killed it, um, but I didn't think to do that. I was hoping that extreme speed would be enough, and so now both of my Pokemon are put to sleep. Um, Dialga uses Blizzard, which, um, again, uh, which misses Dragonite, which is a Pokemon that mattered, but it does hit Metagross, but Metagross resists it, so look at how little that damage that did. Uh, I mean, I'm really curious about this set that, that Dialga is running. It's obviously a mixed set, but I think this guy just didn't know what he was doing. Um, so, yeah, so there's some Dark Dreams damage, and I'm... Bad Dreams damage, rather. And I'm just annoyed as hell. And so now Darkrai um, uses Nightmare, and yeah, I love that little, you know, thing that Darkrai did. It looks like he's flipping me off. Um, Darkrai goes ahead and uses Roar of Time, that's going to be enough to take out Dragonite, but that was really stupid. I mean, Roar of Time? Now you've got a turn of inactiveness. This guy is a noob, there's no question. Um, amazingly, Metagross wakes up, I could not believe that. Um, 
I was, again, really lucky with the hacks in this battle, and so I managed to take out his Dialga, and I, I go from thinking, oh man, this battle is lost, to thinking, wait, I just might win it. So his Dialga goes down, thanks to the super effective hammer arm, and now he's got one Pokemon left, it's Darkrai, and I'm hoping that Stab Bullet Punch will be enough to take it out, considering it's at low health. Um, he tries Protect stalling me up, but it's not like he's carrying leftovers, that's just a wasted turn. So, a um, little bit annoying there, but whatevs. Um, next turn, I go ahead and use Bullet Punch, and indeed, it's enough to take down his Dark Eye, and I have won this battle against four freaking Ubers without Trick Room up. So that was quite amazing, I must say, and it was a great way to see my Isabella team off. So, I hope you um, enjoyed this battle, say goodbye to my Isabella team, and that's all for today. Uh, stay tuned for a tribute to this team. So long.